Okay, so finishing up our discussion on fraction as division, let's start off with theorem 5. For any two whole numbers, m and n, and making sure that n is not 0, we can write m over n means the same as m divided by n. This is called the division interpretation of a fraction, and we're going to do another example similar to what we did on the first video. But this time I'm going to start off with 10 divided by 2, so I'm kind of starting backwards, and we're going to go ahead and write this. If this is true, then this would be the same as saying 10 over 2. Remember what this means. We have a length of 10, because remember now we're looking at the segment from 0 to 10, which we have on this number line. And 10 is going to be represented as 10 being partitioned into segments of one unit. Well, if we want these in groups of 2, then this is going to be partitioned into 2's. So we're going to do that. So again, just taking these and making them into two sections each, which now we have, if you count these all up, we have 20. 20 sections of two partitions each. Well, we want two groups. So if we split these 20 into two groups, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guess where it lands. So here's my one group, and here's my other equal group. But where it lands is right here. And that is, if you check it, that is the answer of 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's why now instead of using the division sign, from here on out we are now going to write division problems as fractions because it is the same thing and you can prove it on a number line.